You're watching the news at 10. Time now for sports news with Kayode Alayode. Welcome to Sports News. I'm Kayode Alayode. The federal capital territory Abuja is being touted as an alternate host for the 19th edition of the National Sports Festival. This follows repeated delays by Cross River States, which is the official host owing to financial constraints. The Minister of Youth and Sports Development, Solomon Dalong, says the ministry does not have the 650 million naira budget being demanded by the main organizing committee for the games. Cross Rivers has postponed the, festive, uh, the festival three times from the initial date of November the 24th, 2014. Now, Jose Mourinho has called for both sets of supporters to respect each other when Manchester United visit Anfield to play Liverpool on Monday. The rivalry between the clubs is one of the most fiercely contested in world football and matches have been littered with unsavoury incidents in the past. Last season, supporters of both clubs engaged in illicit chanting when they met in the last 16 of the Europa League. The chants aimed at Liverpool supporters centred around the Hillsborough Stadium tragedies, while those directed at United fans referenced the Munich air disaster of 1958. In, in, in football, we have some football tra tragedies, if you can speak that, which is the big match that you lost, uh, the mistake that some player did, uh, this kind of thing, and you can make fun of it in a positive way. But the human tragedy is something much, much, much more serious, and I think is, is the last thing somebody should use in a football pitch, because we're really big tragedies. Not to forget, but to respect. So I would be really sad if uh, in such a big football match that was a, a negative point. Meanwhile, Chelsea manager Antonio Conte has laughed off rumours of his imminent sack ahead of their clash with Premier League champions Leicester City. The club is currently seventh on the log with 13 points after four wins one draw and two defeats. The Italian tactician said he is fully focused on improving the team. And those are the major stories in the world of sports. The rest of the news at 10 continues in just a moment with Gimba Uma. The Syrian president Bashar al-Assad says victory in Aleppo will make it easier for the government to retake the rest of the country. In an interview with a Russian newspaper, Mr. Assad says that there is no choice but to keep cleaning this area and force rebels back to Turkey. Turkey is a key backer of rebel groups, along with Western powers and Gulf states. But Syria and its ally Russia have stepped up bombardment of rebel-held Eastern Aleppo in recent weeks. You cannot cut, you have to clean, you have to keep cleaning this area and to push the terrorists to Turkey to go back to, to where they come from or to kill them. There's mm -hmm. no other option. So, but uh, yeah, Aleppo is going to be very important springboard to, to, do, to do this move. Uh, I would say what we have now, what we've been seeing recently during the last few weeks and maybe few months is something like a more than cold war, less than war, a full-blown war. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know what, what, what to call it, but it's not something that has existed recently because I don't think that the West and especially the United States uh, has stopped their Cold War even after the collapse of the Soviet Union. Syrian President Bashar al-Assad. On entertainment news tonight, Wizkid hints at another collaboration with Drake. Maya Wawagundele has details and more. Many thanks on Entertainment Tonight. Music icon Majek Fashek has recorded a tribute track to the late above Benin Oba Eediawa. The Send Down the Rain crooner recorded the song in London where he's putting finishing touches to his comeback album.
About two months after international singer Bono of the Irish band U2 launched his Make Nigeria Stronger campaign through his one initiative, select Nigerian celebrities including singer YJ, filmmaker turned lawmaker Desmond Elliott and Kanyewood actor Ali Nuhu have officially kick-started the project with a call for the federal government to pay more attention to the health sector. At an event in Lagos, the celebrities urged the government to honor the African Union Declaration and dedicate 20% of the budget to the health sector. Amidst his Make Nigeria Stronger campaign for one, Entertainment News further probed Ali Nuhu on the recent controversial ban on colleague Rahama Sadao by Motion Pictures Practitioners Association of Nigeria for a role in the music video titled Logical. Here is what Nuhu, who is also a member of the association, says. If it were something like giving her a warning or uh, placing her on suspension, I can understand. But expelling someone from the person's profession, I don't think is fair. On the music front, Wizkid hints at the third music collaboration with Canadian star Drake in a tweet that has set high expectations from his fans. This new project follows Ojo Legba remix as well as Drake's One Dance, which Wizkid co-produced. Pop star David O has released a video for his international music collaboration with American singer Tinashe. The video for the Spells produced track, which is titled How Long, reveals a soft side to the self-styled Omo Babalu and was directed by Frank Boren. And that's it on entertainment. Thank you for watching. Let's head back to the rest of the news. And the main news again. The president today held bilateral talks with German Chancellor Angela Merkel in continuation of his visit to Germany. President Mohammed Buhari pledged to ensure the release of the rest of the abducted Chibok girls. Also today, President Buhari responded to an interview granted by his wife expressing a difference of opinion on issues of governance. In a light-hearted response, the president implied that he had more political survey than Mrs. Buhari. And Syrian President Bashar al-Assad said he is banking on a victory in Aleppo as a catalyst to retake in the rest of the country from rebels. And that's how it's been on the news at 10 tonight. I want to thank you all for being a part of it. I'm Gimba Omar. On behalf of everyone here, have a splendid night, friends, and a beautiful weekend. Good night.